Good morning. Today, I will walk you through the interactive charting features in Spreadsheet Web. Microsoft Excel is the most commonly used reporting and dashboarding software. Ease of use, simplicity, extensive feature set, and of course, a user base in hundreds of millions makes Excel the first choice for most organizations as their reporting platform. As opposed to most other reporting and data visualization software, there's practically no learning curve with Excel. Every organization either have their in-house Excel guru or enough people knowing how to use Excel to meet the organization's needs in reporting and data visualization. However, once reports and dashboards are built in Excel, the challenging part is to share them with others in a quick, secure, and manageable fashion. That's when Spreadsheet Web comes in. Let's take this dashboard for example. This dashboard was built entirely in Excel. We have the underlying data here in various different tables. We have calculations to produce the final results to be presented. And of course, we have the report and dashboard portion of it. As you can see, charts are created in using standard features in Excel. There's also interactivity here. If I click on any of these countries in the list box, you'll see that charts are automatically updated, uh, coming from the backend calculations and underlying data. Now let's publish this as a web-based dashboard with Spreadsheet Web. First, click on the Spreadsheet Web menu item in Excel, and then click Wizard. Wizard will interactively walk you through the few steps of the publishing process. Click Next. First, we add a worksheet. We have to dis define the display area. Display area is what the end user of this web-based dashboard will see in their browsers. They will not see anything else. Click Next. Click Next because the inputs are already coming from this list box. I will enable Auto Calculation mode. Click Next and Next again. Now the software is actually creating the web-based interface. Conversion is complete. Now we need to upload this file to the Spreadsheet web server. Click Upload. I already have my login credentials saved here. I will upload it as a new application. The spreadsheet web uploaded this Excel file to the server and created the web-based dashboard. As you can see, this dashboard is completely browser-based. Uh, it does have the same look and feel as your Excel file, uh, but it also produces the same results through the input selections, just like in the Excel file. If I click on any one of these countries, as you can see, the charts are updated automatically uh, with respect to the underlying calculations and underlying data without requiring any browser-based add-in. Now you can simply share this URL with your colleagues and they will access this dashboard securely. Your backend data and calculations are completely hidden from them. They can only see what they're allowed to see on this particular page. Let's talk about the interactive charts here. As you can see, all of these charts are interactive. You can hover your mouse over to see the actual data. You can also click on the legends here to remove the data from the chart. If I want to see the final energy consumption, click on gross inland consumption by primary energy and now I'm left with the final energy consumption. So I can do that with pretty much any of the charts here completely interactive. As you can see with Spreadsheet Web, you can turn Excel-based dashboards into interactive, secure, 
web dashboards in minutes without any support from your IT teams. This has been a presentation of interactive charting features in Excel. Please visit our product website at www.spreadsheetweb.com for more information about Spreadsheet Web and sign up for the trial account.